Well, good morning. It's another beautiful morning out here. Somewhat breathtaking, really. <laughs> so, I guess today, because of something that came up last night at a meeting, I want to talk about half measures. You know, when we read how it works, we get to that part where it says half measures availed us nothing. Well, I don't know about you, but when I was drinking, there were no half measures. You pour me a full glass of whatever it is I'm drinking, I'm not drinking half of it, I can tell you that. I'll drink every bit of it. It's easy to read into that, that phrase, half measures availed us nothing. But when you look at it in its context, I certainly didn't major in, in uh, English or anything like that, but I can tell you that one thing I do know is that a paragraph usually contains a single thought wrapped up into one. Uh, and then you move on to the next paragraph. Well, the paragraph reads, Half measures availed us nothing. We stood at the turning point. We asked his protection and care with complete abandon. So what that means to me is that if I don't ask his protection and care with complete abandon, then it's half measures and it will avail me nothing. I might as well not even do it. If it's gonna avail me nothing to do it half measures, it avails me nothing. So why would I do that? <laughs> you know? I love recovery and what it's done for me and what it's done for a lot of people that I care about. And this is one of the tough areas for some of us. Asking God's protection and care with complete abandon. When you've been the one that's been taking care of yourself, even though you haven't done a very good job up to this point, you still have become self-reliant. Man, when you become reliant on anything, it's hard to give it up, you know? Uh, I think it's in the big book, it talks about, you know, reliance upon things like electricity. You know, we've come to rely on that. You know, you go over and you flip the switch, the light's gonna come on. Well, if it doesn't, then, uh-oh, we got us a problem, you know? So, to stop relying on something that you've relied on for years, most difficult most difficult and then on top of it to bring up something new to rely upon which in this case is my higher power a total reliance upon a power greater than myself it's the main object of the book is to help me find that power greater than myself that will solve my problem see that's why when people talk about the spiritual part of the program, I scratch my head and go like, huh? What part is that? What part is not spiritual? <laughs> it's all spiritual, you know? It's a spiritual malady and it's a spiritual solution, which means that we've got to talk about spiritual matters. We've, we've got to talk about God. We've got to talk about that power that's greater than ourselves. And we've got to find a way to rely upon that power. You know, I'm working with a sponsee right now who's still trying to define what God is and if God is. And even though I just want to shake him and say, just believe, damn it. <laughs> uh, that's not the way this thing works. You know, everybody's got to do it their own way. And, uh, you know, it does not have to be the God that my parents told me about. It's not, it doesn't have to be the God that I have conjured up in my head when I get to AA. It just has to be a power greater than myself. One that I can find a way to rely upon. I can come up with my own conception of God. 
that's fantastic. What church have you ever been to where they go, you know, um, you guys go ahead and just come up with your own conception of God and, and then we can, we can worship him. Well, everybody's worshiping a different God, I guess. See, that's not the way religion works. That's spirituality. Uh, you know, if you've been around any length of time, you've heard that religion is for people who are afraid to go to hell and spirituality is for people who've already been there and they don't want to go back. That's me. <laughs> I've been there. Let me tell you something. It's not a pleasant place. I do not want to go back. So reliance upon a power greater than myself that will solve my problem. And half measures avail me nothing. So I have to abandon my own will. I ask God for complete protection and care. And then I come to rely upon Him. You know, step two says that we came to believe. It doesn't say that we got with our sponsor and worked out how to believe. It doesn't say that, uh, you know, we automatically believed. Uh, overnight we believed. No, we came to believe. And I, I'm a uh, proponent of moving on to the next step. Let's not hang out at step two trying to define who God is all the way up until we're finally restored to sanity and now we can move on to step three. That's not the way it works. We come to believe that there is some sort of power out there that's greater than us. That's all. That's all. And you know, you look out here at these waves that are crashing. Go out there and try to stop one. That's a power greater than ourselves right there just the waves crashing on the beach that's a power greater than myself and it can begin there so once you come to believe then take action on that belief and take step three where we turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him as we understood him at that time you know my understanding of God changes quite often I learn a lot about God as I go through life. So don't get stuck on step two, trying to find the perfect definition of who God is and, and, and what he looks like and what he sounds like and what kind of decisions he makes in your life. Those are all things you can learn as you go. As, as you practice the rest of the steps, you will learn more about this power greater than yourself. Believe me. You know, step 11 says that we sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him. That means we're trying real hard to get to know this guy. So, it's all part of the steps. It's all part of the program. It's part of recovery. So, if you're stuck on step two, hey, if you believe there's anything out there that's greater than you, move on to step three and turn it, turn it over. Turn your life and your will over to that power. At least it's better than turning your will and your life over to yourself. Because that hasn't worked in a long time. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully you guys have some sunshine there. And, uh, hey, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.